Home Groomers, it's Mel here and we have Finn the Cavoodle again. This is our part two to our three part video on grooming a Cavoodle. So we've already done the part one and now this is a part two. So this is our bathing video. So this will go through step by step on how to bath your Cavoodle safely at home. The equipment we are going to use today is we have our two towels ready to go. We also have from our first video, we have our non-slip mat on top of our bench so it keeps him nice and secure for when he's out of the bath. We also have a non-slip mat in the bath so when the shampoo's on he's not going to slide around, he's going to feel really quite safe. Um, we also have some sponges and a face washer and a loofah as well and we also have a noose that has a suction cap that actually goes on the side of the bath that will help make him feel secure while he's in the bath. We are going to use the Relax Collection today. The Relax Collection is formulated for dogs with sensitive skins, puppy as well as senior dogs so this is perfect for Finn's bath. Before before we start our bathing process, it's important that we don't get any water down Finn's ear canals. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of cotton wool and we're going to gently place it inside his ear. And that will avoid getting water down there. So what we need to do is once we're finished bathing him, we need to take that cotton wool out straight away. So now let's start bathing. So I've gently put the water on and we're just gently going to go down the back of him, just getting him used to the water falling down his coat. And we're going to do this all over his body. If your dog doesn't like his head being washed, what we can do is use our face washer and then gently put the water on. So his face is all wet now and all down his back legs getting ready for our first shampoo. Okay so he is fully rinsed and just remember to keep the water temperature at a comfortable temp at around 34 to 36 degrees. We are going to get our relaxed shampoo rub it between our hands and gently work down his back down to his legs. Another squirt and then down his front legs working that shampoo in. We can put a little bit on our loofah and then just gently work that shampoo through his legs and his little feet. Repeating this process all over his little body. The loofah will in fact help create a lather on our dogs as well. We just do not want to rub too hard to tangle that beautiful coat up. Once we have shampooed his entire body, I'm just going to put a little bit of shampoo on my hands and we are gently going to work that through his face. A little bit more. And then just a little bit on top of his nose, under his chin. So now we're going to rinse him and what we're going to do, we're going to rinse his head first and then his body because his head is the last place that we shampooed. So now we're going to rinse his head first because that's the last place we put on the shampoo and then we'll follow that through to the rest of his body. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit more and we're going to pop his head backwards and gently working down his body. And again, if your little cavoodle doesn't like his head being washed, you can definitely use a face washer to, to rinse off the shampoo. 
don't need the shampoo. No. It's important when we're rinsing our dog that we avoid the eye area. So just constantly wiping that water away from his eyes. And then rinsing down his back, following through down to his little paws. We are going to do our second shampoo now. So we're going to repeat the process. We're going to put the shampoo down his back and then down his legs and then shampooing his head last again. So popping it through our hands and just working that through. We wash our dog's coat twice just to make sure we break through all that dirt and oil leaving the coat fresh and clean. We have shampooed Finn completely. So this is our final rinse for our shampoo. So making sure we remove all those suds and just avoiding our eyes, well his eyes. Um, his little whiskers and the other side good boy and then moving down towards his back and then down on his legs making sure we remove all those suds ready to put the conditioner on him now Finn has been completely shampooed so we've shampooed him twice now we are going to use the relax conditioner it is so important to use conditioner on our dog so not only does it hydrate and moisturize our dog's skin it is actually makes our dogs easier to brush after the bath when we're drying our dogs so we're going to rub this through his whole coat and give him a little massage while we're while we have the relax conditioner on him while the conditioner is on, I like to give our dogs a little bit of a massage. So down their loin area and into their back legs, just so they feel a little bit more relaxed throughout this bathing process. And remember, we want it to be a positive experience for our dogs. And again, a little head massage, because who doesn't love a head massage? If it's a cold winter day, you could even put a steam towel along his back. So once we've finished giving him a little massage with the conditioner on, we are going to rinse him again and we are going to start with his head first and then working our way through his body and our feet last. I like to rinse for a good three to five minutes, making sure we remove all the product so we don't have any residue or product left in the coat at all. When we are rinsing our dogs, it's so important to make sure we rinse right down to their little toes, making sure we remove all that loose dirt and all that residue from their coat. And our coat should feel squeaky clean when we're finished rinsing. We have completely rinsed off Finn and before we start drying him we need to remove our little cotton wool. So one out of one ear and out of our next ear. And that was just to help no water get down his ear canals. Um, if you loved our video please like and comment and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, happy grooming. Bye.